What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the 2016 September Nerd Black Junior boxes for girls and for boys. We're gonna go ahead and open, we're gonna go ahead and open the uh, girls box first. If you're interested in getting either of these boxes, I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. The boys box feels a teeny bit heavier than the girls box. Ooh. Now they have not increased the price yet. Actually, I think if you buy it now, they have increased the price. So I'll have to look at that. Um, you might want to check the website just in case because they are going to start putting a shirt in this box. So it's going to turn into like all of their other boxes. I think they're just trying to make all of their boxes consistent pricing all the way around. So all the boxes will basically be about $30 a month. It's like 10, it's $20 a month plus $10 shipping if you live in the U.S. Uh, okay, here we go. The first item we have is a... My Little Pony, um, I think this is just one of those mystery figures. I'm not going to open this because uh, the girls at my program love My Little Pony, so I'm going to put that in my prize box. The next item we have is Make a Deal Matching Game, and this is a Shopkins game. So it's like the card matching game where you put them all at the table, and then you you know flip them over and you try to match them, and if you do, you get them, but this is Shopkins style. So that's pretty cool, actually. I've never seen this before. Oh, I can put that in my board game section, which is nice. The next item we got is this. It looks like a, the, what are those things called? Those high school dolls? Is that a thing? Do they still make that? Monster High, yeah. Okay, I didn't even know Monster High was still around. So this is like a little kid wristlet. This is cool. It's like a mini version of the wristlet that I carry around. And you open it up, it's just a pouch. But, you know, it's like a little cool thing that people can put their stuff in. Mainly for kids. For sure, this is definitely a kid's product. The next item we got is Minnie Mouse printed shoelaces. I just got a pack of Marvel ones from one of my nerd blocks. I forgot which one. I wonder if the boys one's gonna have the Marvel ones. But these are cool, these are Minnie Mouse shoelaces. My goddaughter might like that. The last item that we have is Angry Birds Mashems. This is an odd product. Not that Angry Birds is a boy thing, but this is so different than everything else in the box. So I don't like mashems. Mashems are the thing that usually come in those little canisters. They're very squishy and they're fun until you drop them or until it gets dirty then it's kind of disgusting. But these are a two pack of Angry Bird mashems. All right, and that was everything in the box. Let's just go ahead and show you some of these cards. Next month they're going to have an item from Star Wars Rebels, Trolls, and Sumsums. Sumsums. Um, we got another $10 coupon thing for that website, and then we got our puzzle piece, which I'm going to go ahead and post the code somewhere else. Okay, here we go. Let's do some recap and pricing. The first item we have is shoelaces, and for the Marvel ones, I gave $6, $2 a pair. I actually, after that, I thought that might have been a little bit high because it's a three-pack. Um, I'm going to just give this $5. I think that's... I think that's a good basic price. You probably could give it a couple more dollars, but I've never really seen that in a store, so I don't know. The mashems, mashems when they're in the containers, they cost about three to five dollars. Um, this one's not in a container, which sucks because then you have nowhere to put it when you're done playing with it, like the other ones. I would probably give this, I'd probably give this five dollars. That might be a little high, actually. Uh, matching game, I'm just going to give $3. It's pretty basic. This Monster High pouch, I'm going to give this $2. It seems like something you might be able to get from the dollar section at Target. And then the My Little Pony Mystery Pack, um, these are usually $3. $3? I must have gotten really weary with my, my pricing. I think this box is worth $18. That seems really low, but I don't really know. I actually don't know how much I paid. Let me see how much I paid for this box. I paid eighteen fifty nine because I have a ten percent off since I have so many subscriptions with NerdBlock. So oh, I almost I almost actually put that in my calculator, which I still will just because I always do. So oh, I don't know. I basically didn't make fifty nine cents of my value. Now, again, I think the shoelaces you might be able to give uh, maybe a dollar. I mean, the mashems you probably could give more because it is Angry Birds, but I just don't like how they don't come in the container like they normally do because then you just you literally have nowhere to put them or kids don't have anywhere to put them. So uh, I'm going to say that this box basically just hit its value. It's not terrible. It's not the greatest box. Um, a little bit random for me, which is fine. I mean, that's part of it, I guess. But yeah, nothing that is like, oh, this is so cool. Definitely some cool items 
I can put my prize box and put out in the program. And then I think my goddaughter could take a couple things. So not bad. Let's see how the boys box does. So same thing. I'll go to put all. Oh, I'll go to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. What you get the tape over you know, the box is what you're gonna see. I tend to like the boys box better just because I like. You know, in the boys' box, they give you more superhero things and more, like, things like that. I don't know why, but they do. Ninja Turtle things, that's what I see. All right, the first time we have is this Mega Man plushie, which I feel like I've I've received this before. This, like, this exact one. I don't know. I don't remember where I received it because I remember it looking kind of funky like this. But that's cool. Oh, we got a Star Wars matching game. I like this. I like this one way better than Shopkins. I should probably close my window. It's going to rain today. There is a huge storm coming, and it's supposed to rain more than it's rained in the past seven months today. It's going to be cray-cray. Uh, okay, so we have the Star Wars matching game. We got a Ninja Turtle two-inch figure with key ring. This is what it kind of looks like. I have never seen this before, so I'm going to open this. I always get shredder. Like I always, I always get shredder. <laughs> oh man. So this is like an oversized Lego figure. Oh, some of his pieces move. These are like mega blocks. Is this a mega blocks thing? No. They remind me of mega blocks because I think you can actually take him apart. So you can like take them apart, whoa. So you can take them apart and like you can swap out pieces. Here's the thing about that, I think that's super cool and if this was just a regular figure, I think that would be great. The problem is, is that this is technically a key ring. If I were to put this, oh what happened to my camera? Sorry, it's like cut off the top of my head. If I were to put this on my keys, uh, it would die in a second. Like my, my Hulk keychain recently, like the Hulk just fell off and I was like, oh. Oops, and I, I screwed him back on. I'm sure he's not going to last very much longer just because now that the glue is undone, it's going to fall apart. But, like, I could easily see if, I mean, like, if I put this on my keys, by the end of the day, it would literally just be, I don't know what it would be. Also, I don't know how, I mean, this is not that legit. Like, it's, the keychain is hanging onto the body by a string. But this is still a cool concept. And you know what I would probably do is just take the key ring out and just make this a figure. Because actually, as a figure, he's pretty cool. He's got a lot of stuff going on with him. And I think he'd be fun to play with without the keychain just hanging around. So that's cool. And it came with a stand just in case you want to stand him up. All right, the next item we got is Avengers Age of Ultron. This is Marvel's Vision, and it's just a little figure, which is very cool. Actually, it's two figures. It's Vision and then, and then the blue thing with the car. Sub Ultron. And then the last item we got is Raveling Rabbids Travel in Time. It's a limited edition figure. Ooh. So this must be some kind of video game. It looks like maybe on Wii. And these are the ones that you can collect. Uh, this guy's actually kind of funny looking. And he's trying to make a fire, which is what I'm obsessed with. So I'm kind of down for that. All right. That was all the items in the box. Let's just show you what these cards are. Same two uh, discount cards, and then next month there's going to be a Marvel, Minions, and Star Wars Rebels item. And let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. So this is that little notice I was telling you about that shirts are coming to this block. I don't know when though. Okay, the first item that we have is our matching game, our Star Wars matching game. We're going to give that $3. This Age of Ultron action figure set, I'm going to give that $6. Those are pretty expensive. I don't know if you can get them cheaper because it's not like the movie, you know, has been out for a while. But I think there's a lot of stuff going on with that. So Ninja Turtles mystery thing. I'm going to go ahead and give that $3. This Mega Man plushie, I'll go ahead and give that. I'm going to give this one. I usually give plushies anywhere from four to six. Want to give him a four, but he is a little bit fancier, I guess. And he's like a, a licensed product. So I'll give it five. And then this little figure right here, I'll go ahead and give this thing, I'll give him three fifty. dollars oh, he's a little bit, I'll give him 4 because three fifty dollars is like a mystery figure. This is actually kind of a nice little figure. Okay, according to my pricing, this box is worth $21, which is more than the girl's box. I pay the same price, I pay $18.59, so I got $2.41 extra value on top of what I paid for it. Um, you know, for kid boxes, you don't tend to get a whole lot of extra value. I've been saying that a lot because you really don't. When it comes to kid stuff, 
you know, it, it's a, a, lot, a lot of times you get stuff that you can get in the store. Um, you don't usually get a lot of exclusive items. I think when they start putting the shirt in here, it'll help a little bit. But I definitely think um, all kid boxes need to find a way to either, I mean, most kid boxes don't partner with companies, but I think that's the way that they're going to need to do it to get better value because kid boxes just don't get a lot of value. Am I happy with these boxes? I'm happier with the boys box. I'm glad that I got my, my value for sure. If I had to rate these boxes for the girls box, I'd probably give it a 3.5 two five out of five noobs. It's just at a very basic level. It has nice things, but I just don't know if it's worth the price. Like I could just go to the store, I think, and buy this that stuff for about the same price. The boys box I like a little bit better. I would say that that's probably a, I'd probably say 3.75 out of five noobs for both boxes. I would just wish for a better value. The girls box I think could have come with one more item. It seemed like the boys box had more items. I don't know if I'm just making that up in my head or if that's true story. Um, maybe it seemed like they just had bigger items in the box and yeah, mainly just value though. I think that, that they need to figure out how to get some kind of value. And honestly, I don't think it would hurt them to try to theme their boxes a little bit. You know, all of the adult boxes for the most part are themed every month and I, I don't think it would hurt them to do that because especially if they're going to start getting shirts like if you have a kid and you know that there's going to be a Shopkins box and they love Shopkins they would buy it right or if you knew the box was going to be Star Wars themed and your kid hated Star Wars then you could pause that month and then not get it so you know I but at the end of the day honestly I guess it doesn't really matter because kids fluctuate with what they like anyway so I guess it just depends on what kind of kid you have anyways Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Did you like it? Did you think it was worth it? Did your kids, did any of you guys um, who have kids, did you get this box, and what do they think about it? It always just seems hit or miss, and honestly, with Nerd Block, with all their boxes, it's very hit or miss month to month. So like one month, you might be like, that was amazing, and the next one, you're like, why do I have this? I want to, and you're thinking about canceling, and then it's like they probably do that on purpose I'm sure I could I could totally imagine what a good scheme anyways um, remember if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page which is coming up not right now because I still haven't updated mine I'm so sorry I just want to make sure I got a video out to you um, but I'll work on that this weekend hopefully uh, all right guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later bye